Welcome back to Star TV. On today's lovely episode, we're going to be talking about why it's so important to never respond to shade. Right before we get into today's lovely episode, be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications. Click the bell down below and press all so you will be alerted each and every time Star posts a new video. Let's get right into it. So number one, refuse to acknowledge or respond to their negative words, also known as shade. Now, there are so many different reasons why people will throw shade at you, why people will talk about you subliminally in order to offend you. These people, they want a reaction out of you. They want to trigger you. They want to lower your self-esteem. They want to make you feel bad about yourself. And ultimately, these people feel accomplished when they dish you. When people feel like they dish you, they actually feel good because they feel like they got the upper hand. They feel like they have succeeded. But one person who I truly, truly, truly admire is Beyonce. One thing about Beyonce, so many people come after her and they talk about her daughter. They talk about her marriage. You know, they talk about her and her art, her and her music, her albums. Beyonce has received so much hate and criticism, yet she is the greatest to do it. Beyonce is the epitome of an icon, a superstar, a mogul, a fashion model, right? She's everything. And one thing I truly admire about her is that no matter who throws shade at her, no matter who throws shots at her, one thing about Beyonce is she will never respond, right? And you have to study Beyonce because one thing about her, she never goes back and forth with people on social media. She never goes back and forth with people even in person and that's something that's so admirable about her and that's something that i love so you guys in this season when people want to dish you when people want to attack your shine when people are aiming to make you feel bad about yourself know that you are beyonce try to be like beyonce in these type of situations because when you don't give people a reaction right and they're shading you Inside, they're like, wow, you know, she doesn't look mad. You know, she didn't clap back. Um, did I get to her? Because we have to remember when they are shading you, they want you to be upset. And when you're upset, that's when they feel like they won. Do not give them that. Number two, most times the people who shade you started off in the beginning praising you and giving you your flowers. For example, you guys, I don't know about you, but growing up, I loved to watch Wendy Williams. Like, that was my show. But one thing I noticed about Wendy Williams, you know, God bless her. I don't have anything against her. But, you know, watching her show over the years, I noticed she mentioned, you know, that she was a Beyonce fan. And she would uplift Beyonce and speak so well of her. I'm going to insert the clips. She's an international superstar of monumental proportions, bigger to me and more valuable in terms of, you know, taking pictures and stuff than Leonardo DiCaprio, than Robert De Niro, than Meryl Streep, than Jennifer Lopez, than Jennifer Aniston, than Tom Hanks, than Eddie Murphy. None of them, none of them are her. And then somewhere along the lines, her feelings and her admiration and her praise toward Beyonce changed. So she went from being on her side and praising her and uplifting her to throwing shots, to throwing shade, and ultimately speaking so bad about her. You guys, take a look at the difference. Here's the clip. Because fortunately, uh, one of the TVs in our kitchen has closed captioning, so I'll be able to understand what she says. She, 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 you know, Beyonce can't talk. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? 
what? You all, Beyonce sounds like she's got a fifth grade education. She can't talk. And this is why I encourage everyone to be careful because just because a person uplifts you, speaks well of you, it doesn't mean that they truly like you. Most times people are putting on a facade and how they truly view you and how they feel about you will come out in the end. You guys, I want to give a special shout out to one of my subscribers, Sunshine. You know, I was really meditating on doing this video and how I was going to deliver this message, right? Because we're speaking about why it's important to never respond to shade. So while we think about the root cause, what causes shade? What causes a person to project hatred, to project jealousy, to project misery onto another person. This is what one of my subscribers said and it made total sense. You are absolutely correct. Every time I shaded someone, it was out of jealousy and bitterness. So you guys, if you wanted to know the root cause of shade, thank you to my lovely subscriber, Sunshine, for not only taking accountability, but sharing the root cause of shade. You have experienced it. We have all experienced it. And this is where it's coming from. This is why you don't give people the power to ruin your day with their words. Because there is an agenda. There's underlying bitterness. There's underlying jealousy. So we know that jealousy is a root cause of shadiness. And, you know, just like I watched Wendy Williams on her show, she went from praising Beyonce to tearing her down. Which to me came across as envy. Right? And we're going to get into this next topic. Number three, they will criticize you, right? They'll talk about, you know, your bags. They'll talk about what you got on. They'll talk about your hair. Then go emulate you out of admiration and hatred. And that's the thing. Most people who talk bad about you, most people who dislike you, most people who throw shots at you and shade you, these people often admire you. These people see that you have star quality. They see that you are amazing. They see that you carry gifts. We have to start realizing that sometimes we are the Beyonce in a room full of people. Sometimes even when you enter a room, all eyes are on you. That is the glory that you carry. That is the shine that abides upon you. Sometimes you are special. You are the standout. And they see that. Now take a look at this. I notice. You know, and I'm using Wendy Williams and Beyonce as a perfect example. Wendy Williams made this statement about Beyonce's hair. And we all know Beyonce is fly. Watch this. First of all, Beyonce, the most disturbing thing is I can see the differentiation between your natural hair and your ponytail. <laughs> you know, as a hair girl, you know, I, full wig, you know, you know the difference. Right, right about here is where the wig starts. Uh -huh. And you guys, this is so crazy because what I noticed is Wendy Williams was talking so bad about Beyonce's hair and then she went and got the same hairstyle with the same color, the same getup. Take a look. And this is a prime example that sometimes your biggest critics admire you the most. Sometimes your biggest critics are actually your biggest fans. I don't think Wendy hates Beyonce, you guys. I think she admires her, and I think she wants to be just like her. But sadly, sometimes people will criticize you before uplifting you. This is a learning lesson, and this is a point that we have to focus on. Most times, people will attack you and talk about you and put you down, but these people want to be just like you. The reason why they have to pick you apart is because they don't want you to see yourself the way that they see you. They want to dim your light or make you believe that your light is non-existent because it's blinding them because they're in a dark place and they want to ruin your vibrations. And the way that they do that is they want to hurt your feelings. When a person is throwing shade, it is out of hatred. It's either they're hurt and they're offended by something that you did. And that's their way of dissing you to feel fulfilled inside, which is very immature. Okay. It's childish. And it's like, you guys, we have to be in the place in our lives where I don't care, you know, if you talk about me. I don't care if you throw shade at me. It doesn't change the fact that I am who I am because I am who I am. You see? 
I'm beautiful, I'm smart, I'm unique. It doesn't change the fact that I have a community of people that support me. It doesn't change the fact that I am the standout. It doesn't change the fact that my potential will take me to a greater level in life and you will still be where you're at watching me excel, propel, and succeed. That is the mindset that you have to have. It will always be somebody trying to hurt your feelings. They will say whatever they can to try to make you feel excluded or try to make you feel bad about yourself. But here, let's get into number four. You relinquish their power. You take away their power when their words of shade no longer upset you. Move like Beyonce. Let me tell you something. When a person hates you, when a person doesn't like you, when a person wants to turn other people against you, right? And when a person tries to be shady towards you and they look at you and they realize that, wow, you know, I, I dissed her to get her upset because I know nobody else is going to know I'm talking about her, but she's going to know I'm talking about her, right? I dissed her and she, she doesn't look angry. She's not giving me an attitude. She's not clapping back. She doesn't look upset. Oh my God, like, is she mad? Does she even know I was talking about her, right? So a person that's looking for a reaction, when they get no reaction and when you don't care what they say because it doesn't change that you are the star, you are the standout, when they realize like, wow, like nothing I'm saying is affecting her, they lose their power. Mission aborted. You thought you was going to get me out of character. You thought that I was going to doubt myself. You thought that... I would feel bad about myself based off your opinion, which doesn't matter to me because I only care about what God says about me. That's how we have to think. It doesn't matter what someone who doesn't like you says about you. It's invalid, okay? The only thing that matters is what you think about you because their words does not change your destiny. Their words does not change your gifts. Their words does not change who you are. Their words are powerless. You're going to be successful and you're going to be elevating. And years from now, they're still going to be talking about you. Do not give these people power. Do not give these people power to break you down. Do not give these people power to break your self-esteem. These people are powerless because if they were powerful, they wouldn't be trying to bully you with shade. If they were powerful, they wouldn't be trying to make you feel less than because people who know who they are and who know that they are great and are actually happy in life and fulfilled, they're not trying to tear other people down. They're not trying to throw shade because they're happy. That's coming out of a place of misery. And you got to pray for people who are miserable. You have to pray for people who are so low in life, who don't believe in themselves, who don't think that they are beautiful. They're so low that when they see someone who's beautiful, who's talented, who's gifted, you know, who receives so much love. They, they want that for themselves and they, they hate it so bad that it's not them, that they want to try to break that person's spirit. But you cannot let these people do that. And you guys remember, when you have a community of people who love and support you and who can vouch for your amazing character, whether it's friends, family, or supporters, it doesn't matter what five people have to say about you. It doesn't matter what six people have to say about you. Compare that three to six people to the community of people that are behind you. Basically, the hell is bad. <laughs> That's like Beyonce. You think Beyonce cares about what 12 people have to say about her when she has millions of followers? When her followers outnumber the people who are attacking her? You think she cares? She doesn't because greater are the people who support her than the people who go against her. The love always outweighs the hate. Now, number five, and this one is the last one and it is really deep. Allow God to avenge your enemies. There's a price to pay when you put your mouth on certain people of God, those who are heavily anointed and chosen. And let me tell you guys something. This is something even regular Christians or people who proclaim they're Christians, you know, just by mouth and not by works or faith. This is what they don't know. When you talk about certain people who are heavily anointed and chosen by God, 
there's a price to pay because even in the Bible, it says, um, do my prophets no harm and touch not my anointed. Don't touch them physically and do not touch them with your mouth. This is why when a person talks bad and talks down on a woman of God, a man of God who is anointed and who is doing God's work and uplifting people and, and, and preaching to people, this is why certain destructions and misfortunes fall upon certain people because they don't know who they're coming up against spiritually. They don't know who that person is in the spiritual realm. You don't know how close that person is to God. And certain people, when they cry out to the Most High, He will move and He begins to strike. You guys, let's take a look at Wendy Williams. And this is why I watch what I say about people, right? I watch what I say about people because I've been taught. I know better. But there are some people who are so ignorant, right? They see you as a regular human. They regard you as a nobody. But they don't know who you are in the spiritual realm. They don't know that you are a warrior. They don't know that when you get down on your knees and you pray to the Most High, that things start happening. Look at Wendy Williams, you guys. I'm using her as a prime example. For many years, right, on her talk show, She's talked so bad about people. She's gossiped about people for years. She discussed people's marriages, their downfalls. I mean, she's just been very nasty to so many people in her words. You guys, look at this next clip. After years of bashing people and putting her mouth on certain people, look at what happened to her in the end. And this is terrifying. <laughs> why you have to be very careful with how you deal with people if we take a look at Wendy Williams life right her show got canceled her health started declining her money was frozen in the bank she was collapsing and I honestly you know I have a heart that is full of pity for her I feel bad for her I do you know, I don't wish destruction and calamity on nobody. But like I said, when you put your mouth on certain people and you keep doing it, right? And these people are not arguing with you. These people are not attacking you. These people always speak to you peaceably and you keep shading them. You keep rising up against them. Watch your life. If you don't turn away from doing these things, watch how life will go. It is very imperative and important that we treat people with love and with respect. And it's very important that you don't send for nobody that do not come for you. And last but not least, number six, you have to realize that the people who shade you are your biggest fans. You guys, look, Wendy, right? She proclaimed in the beginning that she loved Beyonce. She gave her her praise. And then she started belittling her, right? Look at what Wendy says about the Beyonce show that was coming out. I think she was playing in a movie. Well, I am a Beyonce fan. And, and I have to tell you, I'm going to be watching this documentary, even if she doesn't introduce us to new stuff, even if she tells us that story about how her daddy used to have them run in high heels again. I'm watching. Did you guys hear what she said? She says, I'm going to be watching the show, right? From beginning to end, each and every part. And this is the thing. Most people who throw shade at you, they're obsessed with you. They admire you. It's something about you that they like, but out of their jealousy, they just can't come to terms with it. Most times the people that shade you, they're on your Instagram stalking your every post. They're on your Facebook watching every status. These people that throw shade at you are going home religiously every night and they're watching each and every one of your YouTube videos. And sometimes you don't even have to come after these people, but just based off your content and what you're doing. These people are so envious that not only are they watching your videos, they're watching your content, but they're so mad that they don't have the confidence and the strength and the demeanor and the wisdom to do what you do that could possibly make you a millionaire, that they have to attack you with their words. They have to say things so that, okay, if I say this, she won't believe in herself and maybe, maybe she'll stop making YouTube videos or, or maybe she'll stop, you know, that business, right? Because let's be real. It takes a lot, you know, to get in front of an audience full of people and, and speak. I mean, YouTube is worldwide. 
And a lot of YouTubers go through this. You see other YouTubers throwing shade at you or you see people, you know, in real life who watch your videos and all of a sudden now they're shading you because they're watching your content and they're jealous, right? That they don't have the confidence, that they don't have the wisdom that you have. They don't know how to pour into people. You know, a lot of people can get in front of what, 20 or 30 people and, you know, talk. But it takes guts to get in front of people worldwide, internationally. Not everyone can do that. My point exactly is the people who hate you are watching you. So what do you do? You keep grinding, you keep shining, and you keep praying. And remember this, they doubted Beyonce in the beginning. Um, a legend in the making. A legend? Yeah. That's big. I said in the making. <laughs> he doubted that she would be a legend. He doubted how big she would be. But look at her now. Beyonce, who is worth an amazing $400 million, has stated in the past that reading allegations about herself in the media made her feel agitated and irritated. She decides to remain silent instead of refuting the bogus stories that have been written about her. Let me tell you guys something. The people who are watching you now will be watching you five years from now when you're touching millions of dollars, when you're on billboards, when you're posted on magazine covers, when you are starring in movies, right? The same people who doubted you will have to see and watch God prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. While they doubt you, keep working and watch them be put to shame. Never respond to their shade. They are miserable. Pray for them and know that always take the high road. Remain polite, calm, and respectful, and never let anybody bring you out of character. I know sometimes you wanna pop off and put the paws on them. Trust me, I do. But at the end of the day, the best revenge is success. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remain wise. This is 2023. Do not let anybody's words put you down. Do not let anybody's words affect you. You are great. You are beautiful. You are you. And no matter what they say, not even they can change that. I love you guys. This is Star TV. We going big. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.